Article 2. Participation in Social Life 1. Authority 1897. Human society can be neither well-ordered nor prosperous unless it has some people invested with legitimate authority to preserve its institutions and to devote themselves as far as is necessary to work and care for the good of all. By authority, one means the quality by virtue of which persons or institutions make laws and give orders to men and expect obedience from them. 1898. Every human community needs an authority to govern it. The foundation of such authority lies in human nature. It is necessary for the unity of the state. Its role is to ensure, as far as possible, the common good of the society. 1899. The authority required by the moral order derives from God. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, he who resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. 1900. The duty of obedience requires all to give due honor to authority and to treat those who are charged to exercise it with respect and, in so far as it is deserved, with gratitude and goodwill. Pope St. Clement of Rome provides the Church's most ancient prayer for political authorities. Grant to them, Lord, health, peace, concord, and stability, so that they may exercise without offense the sovereignty that you have given them. Master, heavenly King of the ages, you give glory, honor, and power over the things of earth to the sons of men. Direct, Lord, their counsel, following what is pleasing and acceptable in your sight, so that by exercising with devotion and in peace and gentleness the power that you have given to them, they may find favor with you.